This year's team brings uh, 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 the full gauntlet of talent. We have pitching, we have hitting, we have speed. Uh, you know what, and a great deal of character. And I think that's maybe the biggest thing we bring to the table is uh, character. I think the best thing about this year's team is the depth, the quality of the players, the, uh, the way they get along with each other. We've added a few people in that are uh, truly good at hitting the ball. And um, the pitching will be very good, but I think the hitting is going to be what carries us at the end of the day. I think the biggest thing I like about this year's team is the chemistry that the guys have. Everybody has known each other for years, uh, played against each other uh, on different teams, but uh, the, the chemistry is just outstanding. Uh, the key players, I think, it always starts with pitching. So you got uh, we got a great pitching staff. Uh, we have confidence in every one of our three pitchers. Um, and uh, the, the, as far as the batters, that middle of the lineup is, is tough. Uh, our offense is uh, is led by Pat Shannon, uh, Ryan Wolf, uh, Jody Eight. Uh, we've added uh, Jeff Gulagong from Australia. Our pitching staff is solid. So you know Todd Martin, uh, Grant Patterson, Donnie Scott. You know we, we've got both pitching and hitting, and that goes a long way to win. A lot of obviously teams change and uh, teams make big recruiting drives and stuff. And obviously Jarvis is probably the most uh, standouts I suppose this year. But every team's tough on their day. But uh, Jarvis made the biggest moves, obviously grabbing uh, Folkart, the Australian pitcher who's renowned as one of the top two or three, or even the number one pitcher in the world at the moment. So obviously they uh, are trying to be the ones that will try and topple us over for a crown. I think the Jarvis has got a really jacked up team this year. And uh, but we've just played a one nothing ball game against Chicago, New York, and uh, you know a seventh inning win. So I think that there's about three teams: the Chicago, New York. Uh, there's another New York Gremlins, and Jarvis are our toughest competition. Oh, it's going to be tough this year, just like every year that we've done. You know, um, we were very lucky, the new team to go to be successful the first two years together. You know, some teams will go forever out without one, so we don't take it for granted because we know how special it is. You know, it's uh, it's at the top of it's the best the game gets, you know, and for this year again, obviously now we're back to back, we've got a target on our back, we know that, and uh, you've got to play accordingly, and that's like one of the biggest challenges, so that's what drives it. It's very difficult. Um, I mean, every year it seems that there's probably, uh, you know, three to five teams that would be favorites, you know, have a chance, but basically with the ISC Championship, you have to get yourself to the final day, and it take, after that, you need a little bit of luck and uh, hope things go your way. Uh, I decided to play with the Twins this year because I got a call in uh, in December and I uh, got a chance to play with the two-time defending IC champs, so I couldn't say no. Hi, rich, rich history of fastball franchise, so it was a no-brainer when they came to me in uh, 2004, I guess, to, uh, to join up. I was playing in the U.S. and I was coming back home, so it was an easy decision. You know, I think uh, senior men's fastball, it's all about, number one, it's the competition, but it's about the, the friends you make along the way. I've been in the game for uh, 40 years, and I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, you, you, old, old friends, longtime friends. In all honesty, I've played ball for a long time. I mean, I'm reaching the end of my career, and probably what I enjoy the most is the camaraderie off the field. I mean, and we all play for the competition and, you know, to play at, at the elite level, the most elite level that you can in the game. But I've made a lot of friends, and uh, after the game, you know, we play hard against each other. But uh, you know, I've got a lot of great friends that I'll have for life from this game. Uh, winning the world championship in 2008 was a pretty special memory. Um, to see where we came from when I started with the with the club in 2005 to to you know the culmination of winning it in 2008 was pretty special. Uh, I think just being on the same field as guys like uh, Todd Martin, Ryan Wolf, Patty Shannon, those are the best guys in the game. You know what? For me, winning world championship was great, but. As I say, being, being able to, to walk out on the field with the best players in the game, that's, I think that's my greatest thrill. A couple of third place finishes when we weren't expected to finish in the top 10 have been very good. Um, but winning the ISCs and winning the Canadians, you've got to be right up there. They've got to be the top. The, the favorite, the highlight for me has to be winning the first world title. Uh, just a special feeling. Uh, and also very important to me is being able to share that with, uh, with our youngest son who's been traveling with me for about seven or eight years now. And uh, sharing that and being on the field with him to celebrate that and having him in the dugout with us is, is something real special. Um, obviously, you know, like uh, everyone would expect to be the, to defend our world title and, and to win it again. And, um, but if not, you know, obviously try and play as well as we can. You know, we like to be beaten honestly and, and we're pretty sure we, we know teams get better and nothing always goes our way and we've been very lucky but that's the fun of it. See how uh, 
how composed and respectful we are of the team because it's a special thing. So um, that's, we don't want to take it for granted, and we don't. So that's, that's why we do. Well, obviously the goal is to win a third, you know, back to back to back. Uh, nobody is uh, nobody has won three straight in 50 years, so it'd be a great accomplishment, and uh, that's our goal for the year.